Welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam. In this episode, we're going to explain the mysteries behind the FE Exam scoring process and share some invaluable tips to help you pass the FE Exam. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exam since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Number one, a scaled scoring system. Let me begin by shedding some light on the FE exam's distinctive scoring process. What sets this exam apart is it's a scaled scoring system which only considers correct answers. This scaling accounts for varying difficulty levels across different exam versions, ensuring a fair assessment for all candidates. This also means that you should never leave a question blank. Only correct answers help you, but wrong answers do not hurt you. So please, at a minimum, just guess the ones you didn't answer before the end of the exam. Number two, the essence of psychometric methods. The FE exam encompasses various question types, each aimed at assessing different skills. These include aptitude, quantitative reasoning, mechanical and logistical reasoning, and inductive reasoning questions. Understanding these different types of questions can significantly aid you in your exam preparation. Number three, understanding the fluctuating pass rates. Exam pass rates are a crucial aspect to understand. In 2023, for example, rates vary from 51% to 69% across different engineering disciplines. It's important to recognize that these rates are dynamic and do not necessarily indicate the difficulty level of each discipline. Number four, your FE exam results. Post exam, Candidates receive a straightforward pass or fail outcome. For those who don't pass, a diagnostic report is provided, which is a valuable tool for identifying areas for improvement on future attempts. Number five, the diagnostic report. The diagnostic report is an essential resource for exam retakers. It details your performance in each subject, allowing you to pinpoint where you need to focus your study efforts. Be sure to adjust your study practices based on this diagnostic report. So if you did poorly in one area, spend more time in that area next time around. Number six, the passing score. Aiming for the passing score, typically around 70%, requires an understanding that this figure is subject to change. The focus should be on comprehensive preparation rather than on the fluctuating passing score. In other words, Focus on preparing and doing lots of practice problems, not trying to get a 70. Number seven, daily preparation. It's important when preparing for the FE to study every single day leading up to the exam, as this will build good habits and muscle memory on the relevant topics. Even if you wanna take a day off, at least do something small that day to keep the momentum going. In closing, don't be intimidated by the statistical aspects of the FE exam. Whether it's your first attempt or a subsequent one, the key lies in diligent practice and thorough understanding of the NCES reference guidebook. Remember, while this exam is challenging, it's far from impossible. If I could do it, you could do it. Use the resources provided by the NCES effectively and focus on your weak areas for a better chance at success. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. 
pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly. So please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you want me to cover or a question you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.